Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is a get ready with me. I played with a lot of new products, some like new in general, some just new to me. And I'm really excited about this look. Just very easy, simple, very glowy, cute, summery makeup. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Let me just give you my details before we start. I'm not sure where this necklace is from. I know I got it on vacation in Puerto Rico on a cruise, but I don't remember what the boutique was called. This ring is from Ana Luisa. My plugs today are from Love Kills Boutique. And this is a Christma brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say in this intro. I love doing these videos. I'm excited excited to show you this look and yeah, let's just hop right in. Hi, hello, how is it going? We're gonna just do our makeup today. It's Sunday the 23rd. I really hope you're doing well whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. I'm in a great mood. Uh, we just ran some errands this morning and now I'm gonna film because the builders that build the houses that are in our community, we're getting our picture taken like, ooh, look, they got their house kind of thing. So I need to look presentable. And that's about it. Zane's parents are going to come over in a bit to help with more house stuff and it's just going to be a good chill day. I have a decent amount of makeup in front of me that I've never used before so I'm excited to just try that out with you. I did prime before I did my brows as usual and I used this new primer. Well I don't know if it's a new primer but it's new to me. Huda Beauty sent me a package which I've never gotten a package from them. I'm very excited. This was the water jelly primer. It's very milk makeup uh, hydro grip primer vibes very like glidey cooling feeling and then kind of sticky so as of right now I feel very much the same as I do about the milk one but obviously we'll have to see how makeup applies and how it wears and stuff like that but it's definitely a very similar vibe to it and then for foundation they sent me a foundation stick this one is in the shade angel food I'm excited to try it I've actually heard pretty good things about this foundation stick so we'll see it's like buildable coverage. I really like the packaging as well. I like this kind of blocky shape. So they actually sent me two shades. They also sent me, I think, milkshake, but I gave that one to my best friend Mackenzie because she was in town. It was so good seeing her. If you saw the vlog, you saw her a little bit in that. I'm just going to blend this out with my Juno and Co microfiber sponge. But yeah, that one matched her a little bit better because she has a little bit more of a pinky undertone and she's also quite pale. So I don't know if it'll work for her, but it was more likely to work for her than me, and I kept this one. Ooh, I feel like this dries really quick. I'm having a hard time spreading this out. Maybe I should have worked in sections. <laughs> or maybe this would be better with a brush. Maybe it would be better with a brush. I know this is a small brush. This is an alter ego number four. Usually I use this to help blend out my concealer, but this is what's in front of me now. Yeah, brush is definitely better. I feel like foundation sticks are typically better with a brush, but... I just like to use a sponge when I can. And I have some sticks that I can still use a sponge with, like the milk one. Actually looks really nice on the skin, doesn't it? It's not like too much. Doesn't look drying at all, actually. Not that I thought it would, but it kind of just looks like my skin. I'm pretty content with that, actually. I think I'll leave it just like this because I don't like too much coverage anyways. I probably could build it up more, but... I like this. For concealer, I have nothing new. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C1. I've used this off and on for a very long time now. And I like it. It's very creamy and hydrating and pretty much everything I need in a concealer. I feel like my nose has some problematic spots today, so. I can't believe I've already been in my house just over three weeks. It's wild. I'm so excited. Uh, I feel so good. We've just been so happy and it's been cool because we've been slowly inviting friends over in small quantities like just individual hangouts since we are vaccinated now. It's been cool being able to see people and share our home. That's like the biggest perk that came with our house getting delayed so much is that it fell right in line with us getting vaccinated so we're able to kind of celebrate and have fun. My first best friend ever, Lindsay, her and her husband Griffin came over last night and we made a big taco spread. It was so nice being able to host like a dinner in my kitchen with my big island. That felt so good. Our last kitchen at our old apartment was the smallest little galley kitchen, so this is such an upgrade. But that was a lot of fun. And then we played some Mario Kart. And it was a good time. Lindsay and I have been friends, gosh, for probably... Oh my gosh, ever since I was 10, so I'll be 27 in a couple months, so probably close to 17 years, yeah. 
No way. Wow, that's a really long time. No way. Am I doing the math right? I guess I am, yeah. Because we met when I was 10, and I'm gonna be 27. 17 years? That's almost two decades. Sorry, I'm having like an existential crisis right now. I can't believe how much time has passed. I'm gonna have to text her and be like, did you realize we've been friends for almost 17 years? It's a very long time. <laughs> okay, so I do wanna set my under eyes really quick, but I am gonna play with creams for the majority of my face. For my setting powder, I'm gonna use the one that Huda Beauty sent me, the Pound Cake Loose Powder. Again, I've never tried it before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure the Milk Makeup Blur will always reign supreme, but I will test this one out just to see. Do you feel like my concealer blended nice on my, uh, on that foundation now? Ooh, there is some fragrance in this uh, powder. I can smell it. Foundation and primer not too much, but this powder, yeah, there's some, there's some scent there. I'm just gonna kind of hit up my little creases around my nose, my little lip smile line area and my chin because i know i'm not really gonna put creams there anyway i mean it looks nice under my eyes it doesn't look too cakey or anything so far so good the only downfall i see so far is just the fact that it's very fragrant for bronzer i figured i would just keep with the theme and use the only huda beauty product i owned prior to this this is the tantor in the shade fair I think I'm gonna start by using my sponge. Just gonna kind of dabble it in. This is a very pigmented cream bronzer. I do like it though, I haven't used it in quite a while. Just kind of starting in my outermost part of my cheekbone and then working my way in because it is super pigmented. I don't want it to get everywhere. I angle it up a little towards my forehead but I don't ever feel the need to put too much because I have a pretty small forehead. It's just the facts, and I don't want it to look any smaller than it already is. I actually forgot how much I like this. It's very pigmented, but it blends out just so nice and soft. That looks pretty good. I didn't want to go too overkill with it, because I do want to be pretty blushed today. Well, I guess as blushed as I'm able to, because I'm using a new product for that as well. Pixie sent me this cute PR package, <laughs> this On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisturizer Sticks. It opens up and there are three little blush sticks inside and it's very cute. I think I want to use the pink one today. Fleur, hope I'm saying that correctly. The pronunciation police will tell me if I did it wrong. <laughs> Um, but it's a little glowy blush stick like this. It's very cute and I want to use it. I don't know how pigmented it's going to be, but I'm hoping for some good pigment. I'm just going to rub my sponge on it, maybe? My sponge is pretty pink. Let's just see how it does on my face. <gasps> That's cute! Do you see how instantly glowy that is? That's really pretty. Oh, that's adorable. I really like that. I like that a lot. That's a really pretty color. Ooh. I just want some cute summertime feels with this makeup. Even though I'm not a summer person, sometimes I'm into the makeup. Just the very glowy, cute, blushy, bronzy, you know. That's what I'm going for today. Obviously gonna stamp some on my nose. I really like this blush color. It seems to be applying on my face nicely and just spreading out cute. Really none of my makeup is getting disrupted either, which is a great sign. So far these are cute. I'm gonna keep playing with these. I'm excited about the other two shades, that darker pinky one and the orangey one. Definitely give those a shot. Fake freckles, of course. I'm gonna, well, I need to roll it up. This Jason Wu, Jason the Freckled Boy freckle product is getting kind of low, so I have to kind of roll it around to get some product on the brush. Add my new beauty mark that I like to do. Literally don't know why I started doing that. I think I just made one freckle accidentally big one day and I've stuck with it ever since. And then fill in my natural beauty marks. You know, I forget I have those all the time. Once in a while, someone will point out to me that they like my like cheek beauty marks and I literally forget that they're there. I don't notice them hardly ever. And it makes me wonder how noticeable they are to someone who like looks at me for the first time if they're like, what are those dots on her face? And then for my regular freckles, I just want some sprinkled across the nose. I don't feel like going too ham with it today. Now just tapping these guys out so they can sink 
into the skin. Now just really quick, because I don't wanna feel sticky with these cream products, I'm just gonna take my NYX High Glass Finishing Powder in the shade Light, and I'm just gonna do a quick dusting of this across my face, very light. You guys know how much I love this finishing powder. It's so just glowy and it leaves me looking crazy luminous, but it still sets me down so that I'm not sticky. This brush is a ColourPop F28, by the way. Oh, it's so cute. I feel like now that my freckles are on, I want just a teeny bit more blush. Why not? Not on my nose or anything, just a little bit more on the cheeks. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. Hopefully this layer is over powder. Well, I should have made this decision before I put powder on, but you know. Oh yeah, that's really cute. It's layering really nice. I'm honestly really impressed with just how well this builds up and layers and blends. We're having good luck with some makeup today, my friends. This is a good day. Now I'm just gonna quickly de-sticky one more time. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go back and forth until you get what you want. Okay, so for eyes slash highlight, I just wanna do something very simple. I'm gonna do kind of a one and done thing. I don't do this on camera very often, but I'm really feeling it today, especially because I've never used this before. This is Electric Unicorn from Give Me Glow. One of my subscribers gifted it to me, and I'm so, so excited to use this shade. I was not expecting this shadow at all, and I'm just so grateful. Maddie, thank you so much. I'm thrilled. So I kind of want to do like that just across the lid, blended just out. And then I also want to try it as a face highlight. It's not meant to be a face highlight. It is an eyeshadow, but I'm so tempted. It's just so sparkly. Let me just show you. Just look at that. It's so sparkly and reflective. And I feel like I just want that on my face and my cheeks. And it's going to be so pretty. So I'm just going to tap just my highlight brush in just a little bit. This is a ColourPop F33 brush. Just a teeny little tap. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, again, definitely not meant to be a highlight, but I'm not hating that. Wow. I'm just gonna take my sponge to pounce that in even further. Ooh, I quite enjoy that. I think that's very lovely. Let me just pop some on the other cheek as well. Oh yeah, look how bright that is. Again, not meant to be a highlight, but sometimes you find a really good highlight if you just look through your eyeshadow. Same with blush. I feel like I need to do an updated like favorite eyeshadows I use as blush and favorite eyeshadows I use as highlight video because there are so many good ones out there. And just highlight my nose just a smidgen. Just a wee little bit. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, I'm ready to smear this all over the eyes now because it's gonna be so pretty. I'm just gonna pop on my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Blend that out. I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. I feel like my skin looks so pretty today. It's just so glowy and smooth and blushed and all good things. All right, so I'm just gonna take my finger and just slap it on my eye. Holy moly, that's beautiful. And it is just so sparkly without it being a glitter. It's out of this world, it's so pretty. I literally don't have a shadow just like this in my collection. Holy cow. Just blending this out through my crease. Oh my gosh, that's enchanting. I just love this kind of a look. It's such an easy go-to, just smear like a highlighty shade on your eyes and your cheeks and it all just meshes together. And it's so quick and looks so good. And then when I throw on lashes, it's just gonna look so pretty and complete. I mean, you don't have to wear lashes to complete a look by any means, but I feel like wearing lashes today, that's what I meant. I never want you to think you have to wear lashes just because I do. It's definitely a personal preference. I have ugly lashes. If you're one of those people that has beautiful lashes naturally, I am beyond jealous of you. Just gonna pop a wee bit in my inner corner as well, just to add some highlight there. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like this. Such a quick, simple look, and it's so pretty. Okay, well, at this point, I'm going to just pop on an eye pencil. I don't know which color yet. Probably just, honestly, maybe this one from ColourPop, the lattice one. It's just like a creamy, lacy white, off-white kind of color. Uh, throw on some lashes, and then something on my lips. I'm thinking a pop of color, but we will see. And I also need to throw a wig on because my hair is really dirty today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do all that, and then I'll be back to finish this up. 
All right, this is my look complete. I think it's so cute. I feel adorable in it. Obviously, I didn't go with a pop of color on the lips. I just ended up not feeling it. I was going for just a glossy neutral. The pencil I went with is the Lattice Pencil from ColourPop. My lashes are the Style Mila from Noella Lashes, and I really like them. It's my first time wearing this pair. And my lip combo is the Fab Lippy Stick from ColourPop with the Dose of Colors over the top gloss over top of it. So yeah, I guess that's it for this look. Let's just zoom out and finish up this video. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, get ready with me style video. I would love to hear your thoughts on these products. If you've tried anything, if you wanna try any of these, I wanna hear all your thoughts down below. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow. It's such a cool color. It's just so shifty and sparkly, I love it. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me an emoji that makes you think of summer? whatever that means to you. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat and follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information and resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.